Hey, it's Clay and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol GHSI. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. Well, this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame that does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. First area I wanna get put into play here is just this overall trend line here that has now appeared over the past couple of days. And it's just representing the overall resistance uh, you know, area of the chart. So let me just get this change to actually red for resistance. So keep an eye on that level going forward. In the very near term, you'll wanna keep your eye on the purple line right there, the 50 per and moving average. Uh, you know, which is now starting to move and slope downwards. So that'll be the, like I said, the very near term level, but really the main overall level if the price can get up above that purple line would then be the tread line right there as the key, uh, you know, resistance area. And that's, you know, this tread line here is not some sort of like great discovery on my part or anything like that. I assure you people that use charts and understand charts have taken notice of that tread line. So, you know, call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want. Uh, but a, a lot of people are going to be watching, wondering the same thing in regards to that trend line. And I bring all that up because when a lot of people are watching, wondering the same thing, like I said, self-filling props, you're not, it can produce some very dynamic price movements. So definitely worth keeping an eye right around, uh, you know, currently I, I'd call that right on 79.80 cents. It's hard to say for sure, because again, this trend line is actually sloping downwards. So that's going to, you know, change the value of it as time goes on. But keep an eye on that from the resistance side of things. As far as levels of support are concerned, Current level that was good to see hold strong today was right here at essentially the 70 cent mark. 70 cents is important. If you go back through the history of things, you can see that the price bounced off it a several times uh, last week. And then looking at it this afternoon, you can see the price once again bounced off it. So technically speaking, probably 71, but like I said, we'll just call it 70 to make it a little bit easier to remember. If 70 cents does not quite hold up, then while there is no such guarantee at that point, it would not be shocking at all to see the price potentially drop down to the 63 cent mark. So definitely a very important level that you're gonna to wanna to see hold going forward. All in all, you know, uh, not the greatest start to the week, but also it's not like the price totally collapsed or anything like that. Uh, but all eyes are gonna be on this trend line right here. So let's see if the price can eventually get some sort of break or not. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.